Do you think you know Dwayne Johnson? Well, here's some things you may not have known about The Rock. And you smell what The Rock is cooking. The Rock's father, grandfather, and some of his cousins were all professional wrestlers. His father, professional wrestler Wade Douglas Bowles, was better known by his stage name, Rocky Johnson. Leah Mavia, Johnson's maternal grandmother, was a wrestling promoter for Polynesian Pacific Pro Wrestling. Needless to say, wrestling is a family business. Previous to Johnson's wrestling career, the actor spent some time playing professional football. He not only played for the University of Miami's football team, but also was recruited by a professional Canadian team. Johnson signed a four-year contract with the Calgary Stampeders. While on the team, it was reported that Johnson made as low as $150 a week. Unfortunately, The Rock did not last all four years and was cut from the team. And I want no part of you. Attaboy, Rock! In 2000, The Rock published a book entitled The Rock Says, which he co-wrote with Joe Layden. The book was an autobiography which gave a behind-the-scenes look at his family's history with professional wrestling, as well as his struggle to succeed. The Rock Says became an instant hit and lasted several weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. The phrase SmackDown became well-known because of The Rock. One of his various catchphrases, Lay the SmackDown, became an extension of the WWE brand. WWE SmackDown was thought to be Johnson's show since it was one of his phrases. In 2007, Merriam-Webster Dictionary added the word SmackDown to their database of words. The Rock, not only a badass wrestler, but also a word creator. Dwayne Johnson didn't always wrestle under the moniker The Rock. He actually had two different wrestling names previous to his WWE fame. The first name, Flex Cavana, was dropped by the WWE because they felt as though it would not connect with audiences. So, Johnson selected a different name. By using his dad and grandfather's in-ring names, he invented Rocky Mavia. After losing the Intercontinental Championship to Owen Hart in 1997, he turned heel and joined the Nation of Domination. There, he began referring to himself in the third person and became The Rock. The only thing that matters is that The Rock was promised. If he beat Edge and Christian tonight, then The Rock was going to become the number one contender for the WWF title, which means The Rock is going to King of the Ring, which means The Rock is going to beat Triple H's candy ass and walk out WWF champion. For a while after The Rock left the wrestling world, Vince McMahon owned the rights to his wrestling name. Vince also owned every catchphrase The Rock uttered in the ring. However, years later, Dwayne Johnson was able to purchase the rights to his name as well as his catchphrases and logos. Dwayne Johnson and his production studio, Seven Buck Productions, are in the Guinness Book of World Records. Dwayne and his team were able to create the largest layer dip weighing 540 pounds. With the help of four people, the mega dip took around five hours to complete and was created with a 100-gallon fish tank. But this is not the only world record that Dwayne Johnson has attached to his name. For his role in The Scorpion King, Johnson received a $5.5 million paycheck, making him the highest paid first time leading man. He also broke another record during the London premiere of the disaster movie San Andreas. The actor set a new record for the most selfies taken in three minutes. Dwayne Johnson makes frequent appearances on Saturday Night Live. He first hosted in 2000 where audiences everywhere realized the actor's hilarious comedic abilities. Johnson was invited back multiple times and eventually became the first athlete to host a late night comedy show two times. Hang on here, hang on, hey, hang on. Who is this guy? Who is this guy looking at us like this? I'm your waiter, remember? You just ordered 200 onion rings from me. <laughs> you know what? I, I think you want to kiss my girlfriend right in front of me, like I'm like some joke of the day. I got something for you to kiss. Hey, come here. <laughs> Even Steven Spielberg enjoyed his performance. The legendary director sent Dwayne Johnson a letter praising him for his amazing job as a host, writing, quote, Been enjoying your movies over the years. Very entertaining. I feel like I've really gotten to know you over the years. Most recently after watching you host Saturday Night Live. Great job. You continue to go for it. Proud of your work and look forward to meeting you, Steven Spielberg. And here's a bonus one. Johnny Depp was the only actor that Tim Burton considered for the role of Willy Wonka in his remake but it was reported that The Rock was Tim Burton's second choice in case Johnny Depp was unavailable. What's happening? What's happening is you made Barack Obama very angry, and when you make him angry, he turns into The Rock Obama. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.